What's up everybody, Unfair here, and I am taking a look at Darkfall Unholy Wars. Uh, the beautiful thing about Steam sales is games that you've always wanted but didn't really want to pay the full price for, uh, sometimes come up for sale, and then you kind of think to yourself, well, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and see what this is all about. And I just fired this up now. I have no idea. This is the very first screen that you see when you fire up this game. So you get to make a character. Uh, and it looks like you've got some choices between, obviously, male and female. Uh, she looks a little awkward. He's really not looking a whole lot better. But uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, we can be an orc. Let's see what the orc female looks like. Sexy. A tovar. Kind of looks like a northerner type. Descendant of the Dwarves of old. But he looks too tall to be a dwarf. Let's check the female variant. Alrighty then. Mahirim? Cat people? Every fantasy game has cat people. I guess they're kind of cat people. Or ripoffs from the, whatever those things are in Avatar. Alright, what else we got? Uh, these kind of look like elves. I see pointy ears. Okay. Females are definitely... Uh, Awkward there. Uh, Dark Elves. Whoa. Okay. Good news. We're going back to the first guy. He, he looked the best. So, oh, now we get some customization. Check this out. All right. Do, 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 do. Uh, skin color. Mm -hmm. Give him a little bit of a tan. Hair color. I like the sliders. I mean, that kind of lets you have some variation in there. So that's pretty good. Face. I guess his face is... Oh, here we go. His face is actually changing now. No, his face isn't really changing. Okay, Ooh, I like that. We'll go through the rest of the options just in case you guys are curious. Mm. No. 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 Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Freedom! That's... that. That's... Yeah, William Wallace. Uh, what do we got here? No. No. Nope. Nope. Alright. Which one did I pick? I didn't want emo. I liked this one. So we're going with this one. Hair. Now we get some hair options. No hair. That's always an option, I guess. Uh, one. Mm, no. Two. Possibly. Three. No. Four. Mm, maybe. Five. No. Uh, no. That's not bad. No. 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 Uh, if there's a rogue type class, that's kind of cool for a rogue, but it's a little on the emo side. Let's just go with this. I think this will work. Uh, so for a beard, we could actually give him a beard too. So let's just cycle through these real quick. Mm, oh, let's do it in order. All right. Uh, none of them are uh, a full... Oh. Okay, so you set your beard first, and then your mustache. So, like, there we go. And then we could set a mustache. Yeah. You got a porno mustache. Sure. Nope. These are all bad. So, we're going to go no facial hair. Um, we can get piercings. We can give them eye patch. I like the eye patch. I'm going to go with the eye patch. I'm going to go with this one, because that looks better. Uh, different piercings, I'm not into that kind of stuff. Earrings, not into that either. Alright, next step. Okay, now we get to pick a class. There's a warrior, a skirmisher, an elementalist, and a primalist. I'm gonna... I'm gonna bet that the primalist is a healer. Oh, and he looks cool, too. That's a tap to the force of fuel and govern all life and death. Yep, there you are, a healer. Man, he, he looks really cool. Uh, so does the elementalist. Damn! That's cool. All right, see, this game is actually a real-time, like, fast-paced combat. So, like, you have to aim and do stuff like that. So melee might kind of suck, but I don't know. Um, I, I don't know enough about it. I've seen a few videos. I've heard people sing its praises and talk it down into the ground. You know, how crappy it is or how amazing it is. I guess it just depends on how you like to play. My favorite MMO of all time was the original Ultima Online, where there was open PvP, full loot, you know, steal crap from people's houses. So games like that are far and few between these days because people aren't into the kind of uh, gameplay that 
is present in a game with full PvP and loot. And I think a lot of that has to do with, you know, 15 years ago, the internet wasn't filled with kids. Let's put it that way. And I don't want to cut anybody down. I know a lot of younger people watch the channel and stuff like that. But people today are a lot different on the internet than they were 15 years ago. 15 years ago, you could have a game that was governed by players and everybody behaved themselves. It was like a whole different world because most of it was adults. Whereas today, my God, could you imagine, uh, like you take the community from World of Warcraft and put them into a full open PVP scenario, you wouldn't get shit done. Everybody be jumping on your ass like crazy. It would just be, oh, he looks cool, Warrior looks cool. Um, it would just be ridiculous. And I think, Games like this, like Darkfall, um, they find their their niche. They find their group of people that want to play a game like that. And I'm sure this game is filled with the same douchebags that are available in all other forms of gaming. But, um, you know, that's why games like this never make it really mainstream or get very far. Is because a lot of people don't want to deal with the griefing and the annoyance and the getting ganked and the all the nonsense and the garbage that goes with an open PvP game. But, um... I don't know. I used to love it. I mean, that used to be everything to me was a full PvP game. Not because I was the asshole that was going around killing people, but because I was the guy who loved that adrenaline rush of surviving in a world like that. But, um, I don't know. Skirmisher looks like a rogue to me. Skirmisher fights with brains rather than brawn. His prowess comes from cunning attacks, lethal strategy, and stealthy ambushes. He is a rogue, we're making a rogue. Simple as that. The Elementalist looks badass, he'd be a caster. Um, Primalist looks to be a healer. Warrior is a warrior. But I'm thinking the Skirmisher because Skirmisher can go either Deadeye, Master Marksman, or um, Brawler. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go that. Now, see, if you go Deadeye, Master Marksman, you can place your missiles in the tiniest armor. Let's see. Or Brawler. Supernatural abilities from your body, able to leap and tumble to battle like a frenzy tornado. That actually sounds like more fun to me. Um, so, primary, secondary. Look at that, you can have both. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, first name. Uh, we'll just go with unfair. And uh, we'll just do name is too short. Unfair, the... Uh, Let's see, what, what else can we do? Um, hmm, I don't know. Do, do I have to have a last name? I have to have a last name. I hate games that require you to have a last name. That sucks so bad. Okay, there we go. That's my name. Okay, these are your controls. Holy crap, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Everything's color-coded, and there's no way I'm going to remember half of this. But W, A, S, and D is to move... Uh, the rest of it, I guess we will figure out as we go. We are, yeah, at least the loading screen reminds you of everything you gotta do. Da, 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 accept request, chat toggle, radial wheel configuration. Oh my god. Alright, what do we got here? Alright, get... Alright, how do I get this thing... Okay, Z to toggle. Very nice. Okay. Well, the game looks pretty good so far. Animations are a little stiff, but not too bad. Okay, apparently this big shield on my head probably has something to do with my uh, protection. Okay, space to jump. C to hold down and crouch. Like that. H to rest. Nice. Hey, my guy looks pretty cool. He looks a little pissed off. But, uh, he looks pretty cool. Okay, use any of the movement keys to get up from a resting position. Done. Click the middle mouse button to equip a blade. Ah! Follow the path into your next training area. Well, this doesn't seem too bad so far. I'll get you! Invisible peoples! Nah. No. Okay. Okay. Strike at the training dummy. Oh. First, we need to find the training dummy. We're going to take a shortcut. Looks like if... Oop, apparently stubbed my toe. Uh, I probably have to... Yeah, this is archery target. So I probably have to go to these guys here. Okay, if I hold down shift, it looks like I can sprint. So that's good. 
Okay, here we go. Ready, set. I missed. I feel like I missed. Well, I'm hitting it, but I don't think it's doing anything. Parry by pressing V. I've now parried. Oh, look at that. You actually, like, hold your blade out. Neat. Scroll through your quick slot. I have a boat. Okay, middle mouse button changes that, and... Oh boy, sensitivity is a wee bit high on this one. Am I actually firing the arrows? Well, I guess so. So you just release when you want to release, but your arrows don't stay. I see. Okay. Let's escape to enter GUI mode. Alright. I can hit things. Press B button, open your inventory. This makes sense. Here's my inventory. I have a staff, a blade, and some arrows. Press P to open your paper doll. Here's my inventory and my equipment. Add your Dawn staff to something. Oh, okay, so that's how I can switch with the scroll wheel. Uh, now we're getting somewhere. All right, so check this out. So you scroll. Oh, apparently I'm taking screenshots too. Who knew? Okay. Now I have a staff. So what do I do with the staff? Oh, I can cast with it. Hmm. I can't tell if I'm actually hitting anything. Isn't that bad? Attack the mage totem. What is a mage? Oh, are you a mage totem? You're a mage totem. Bam! I hit you! Okay, select heal self from the radial wheel by simply keeping your alt and right mouse button pressed. Oh, look at that. I like it. Okay, so then you can slot abilities and then they become your left and right mouse. Oh, this isn't bad. Press tab to bring up radio wheel on both slots. Oh, I like this too. Drag and drop light. Uh, what am I dropping? Do I... Any slot? Oh, right radio menu. Uh, does that count? Oh! Paying attention. How does it work? Okay. Bam. Okay. Cast light by right clicking with your mouse. Uh, but I would assume that that means I have to get rid of this first. Yeah, I gotta. I'm wondering why uh, escape is my screenshot button in Steam. Alright, press escape to return to action mode. Oh, hold on. Look at that. I, I have failed my lessons already. Okay, now we have light. Bam! Look at that. Walk further down. Through the veil till you reach the hide tents. I assume I go this way. Well, this is kind of cool so far. It's first person, which is neat. I can cast magic missile. Actually, I don't know what the hell. It's apparently called light. I'll call it magic missile. And see, you don't even have to hold down for the full time. All right. I can smack people. Nope. I'm casting the same thing on both sides. Alright. How much further down the path do I have to go? Hey, can I go swimming? Whee! Well, water physics don't seem to be uh, exactly in at the moment. That's okay. Let's at least get through the rest of this little tutorial, shall we? Well, the water physics have slowed me down, but they're not carrying me away, unfortunately. Kill a shadow imp and open its grave. Oh, that's a heal. I mean, it would probably... Die, shadow imp. Oh, shit, there's another shadow imp. Die, other shadow imp! Oh! Uh, how do I open its grave? That's how you open that. Uh. 
Hmm. It's the one thing it didn't give me, uh... <laughs> That's the one thing it doesn't say in your uh, instructions here. F. There we go. That's because it's hidden by some stupid thing up in the top. I don't even know what that's all about. It's like, use the bindstone. Lizard on a stick. I'll take it. That is some tasty lizard on a stick. Enter the shadowy cave while avoiding the shadow golem. Well, not until I get my lizard on a stick. That's right. Oh, I'm supposed to avoid him? I think I failed. What do you think? I killed him! It's a little awkward. But, I might get more lizard on a stick. Oh yeah. Uh, get me out of here. Yeah, let, let, let's try this instead. Okay, archery should probably not be in my future. Okay, maybe. Maybe I did alright. Okay, so I need to avoid getting detected. I think I may have fi Oh. Oh. The golem. That's what it is. Well, let's see here. How would I avoid getting detected? I can crouch. Well, if I hit Z, it'll tell me something, right? Too powerful for you. Try to avoid finding it. All right. So what if I just go this way? Maybe it won't be interested if I just sneak around the corner? What do you think of that? Own shadow golem thing. Alright, so what is in our cave? Door number one, door number two, or door number three. Uh, we'll start over here. I should have entered the cave. Are we happy now? I don't know, I'm looking at the minimap. I'm going down a path. The game doesn't seem to be happy with my progress, though. I'm not quite sure what to think about that. What a lovely cave. Oh, hold on. What have we got here? Oh, stubbed my toe again. I'm too far away. Fall damage is a bitch in this game. Holy crap. My guy's got a weak uh, draw arm, doesn't he? I'm still pretty sure that archery should not be my future. Boy, it looked like I hit that guy, didn't it? There! Close range! Screw you! There we go. I'll show you. That's victory right there. Alright. But now there's things to actually loot. Show me a lizard on a stick! And if I eat the lizard on a stick, I get health back. Which is kind of a pain in the ass because I'm Still getting shot by these things. Mmm! Owned! Alright. Is it just me, or... Are they either respawning, or... Oh yeah, look at this guy. He's... He's bad. He's all like, I wanna be your friend. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Now you're right deeper into the cavern, past the archway. Alright, we are going. I have no idea about this game, guys. Like I said, I picked it up on the Steam sale because I was curious. I've always been curious about it, but I never really felt like I would pay 40 bucks. Uh, the game does cost $40 plus carries a subscription of $15 a month. 
Uh, from what we've seen so far, I can't pass judgment on it. All I can say is um, the tutorial is at least well done. Gameplay I have no comments on at the moment. If I play a little bit more, I, I might have a more thought out thing to say. Avoid attacks of the dragon and reach the portal below. There's a dragon? Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, this is going to be fun. Okay. I don't even know what kind of settings or anything I'm running this game on. It just showed up like this. It looks pretty good. I mean, it's a nice looking game. Oh. Hey, what's up? Alright, I gotta try it. Nah. <laughs> I'll just pretend like I hit him and feel better about it. Uh, tip. Don't forget to use heal self to stay alive. Oh, yeah. I can, um... I could do this. Bam. Look at that. And I can heal myself. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. I like that a lot. That dragon's... That dragon's a terrible shot. He's almost as bad as I am. Oh, I am just wasting arrows left and right, aren't I? Alright, let's keep going. Seems like my sprint is not very sprinty. Oh. Um, hey buddy, how you doing? I'll go very close to the portal shard and interact with it by clicking F. While you aim at it, you'll be transported out of the veil. Mm -hmm. Fuck you, dragon. Hey, it's worth a try. I don't think it's doing anything other than possibly pissing him off. Get me out of here. So I guess that was the tutorial cave. Not bad. It at least gives you a basic rundown of everything to do, so I'll give it that for sure. Load screens are a little annoying. I've only had to endure two of them, but that's kind of too, too many. This game also boasts that it has no instancing. So it's zoneless and seamless. You can wander the entire world uh, without having to transition between zones. That's an impressive claim. I obviously, as of right now, that, that claim kind of just kind of goes right out the window because, you know, but I, I'm thinking the tutorial may actually be a separate instance. That would make some sense. Um, you know, but it's full open PvP with full loot. So that means everything you're carrying uh, is totally open season for anybody who wants to uh, come and kick your ass. Like, uh... What's this guy? How you doing? Can I, like, just completely put my weapons away? Like, I, I don't want to be wandering around town with my weapons drawn. Hi. So, this looks to be a town of sorts. Um, I still have... The little shield above my head, but I have no idea how to get my camera back. Maybe now is a good time to, uh... Uh, that's not what I wanted. Why don't we go ahead and talk about... Settings. See, I still have this crappy thing up in my left corner that's like, Use Bindstone! Well, I don't know how to go about doing that, but, uh... Also, I'm taking screenshots like crazy. I don't know what, who changed or what happened there. This looks to be a bank. These look to be peoples. Hello, peoples. Bam. Shooting somebody did nothing. Game looks nice, I'll give it that. Uh, where to go from here? I have no idea. So, it seems like, uh... Now we are on our own. Which is actually... Hey, what is that thing? That's a goofy-ass looking mount. Alright. Well, we are on our own. And uh, now, I guess, is where we go out exploring. This appears to be the world, and obviously I can only see a very small part of it. Hmm. Might have to do a little bit of research next, but if this is truly... Uh... Let's see. 
This is truly a sandbox style game as they claim it to be. I should pretty much just be able to wander anywhere, do anything I want. Uh, I don't know if I'd want to wander off too far. Let's see. There's some chat, some other things. And I'm still taking Steam screenshots and I don't know why. I don't know how that got bound to my escape key of all things. That is so annoying. Hey, how you doing? I guess we'll just explore around just a little bit more, check out a few things, and then call it here. You guys can tell me if you actually want to see more of this. I am... I figured I would give it a quick shot. Uh, okay. I like this. Now what? Okay, R puts away... R apparently puts away my weapon. I, I guess I would need a tool in order to uh, start chopping some trees. I guess my biggest question right now is, besides the crouching and besides the sitting and hanging out, um, how do I go about advancing? I guess I'm going to have to figure that out. But in the meantime, hey, look at that, a nice welcome message. Let's go outside. But you guys tell me, do you, do you want to see more of this? I might stream some of this. So as a reminder, uh, up there at the top right you will see a button that says Twitch TV. You can click it. You can follow us on Twitch TV to know when we start streaming and to see what else we're playing. Not everything we do ends up on YouTube. Uh, some of the most fun we've had, we've got an awesome community out there uh, that follows us on Twitch. We have uh, some great conversations, some great gameplay stuff that happens. I encourage you all to follow us there. Uh, but do you want to see more of this? This is Darkfall Unholy Wars. Um, Obviously, I have got to do some learning and figuring and understanding as to exactly what I'm doing. I don't know if there are safe zones or boundaries or what have you. Um, I'm kind of figuring that my first goal here is to wander far enough to get myself killed somewhere. That is my plan. But until then, I thank you guys for watching. And maybe we'll see you next time in Darkfall. If not, we'll see you in whatever I decide to play next.